guys welcome back to my channel oh my god it's been a while um i'm sorry if i didn't do like videos for you guys just because um i wasn't really happy about the colors of my videos so as you can see i have a new background i have a new camera which is so much better and i have a lighting stuff so um i'm really really happy about it i'm sorry if i don't look like you know very presentable it's actually almost 1 a.m. and I just did my makeup and I'm just like yeah let's do a video finally because we just moved houses so um yeah it's kind of like a mess in my room right now I'm filming in my bed and I had like I have this like stickers um, at the back of my wall so I do have a good like background like not really good background but like a presentable background so um yeah, I'm actually pre-recording because I don't have um, internet right now, so that's why I have to pre-record. So once I get my internet, I can just like upload it for you guys. So um, let's just close the parentheses. And today I'm actually going to do a huge makeup haul. Um, I did get these things from Amazon and um, from DM. DM is actually a German drugstore and I had to get um, I had to get them from like the side and let my boyfriend um, send it to me so I can do a video for you guys. So without further ado, let's just keep on doing the haul. See the products that you get is which is like the strobing stick, the Maybelline blush nudes, the last sensational and the vivid matte lipstick. So I don't know if you can get this like um, over like everywhere, but yeah, I just got this. I think they have like other like three kind of boxes, but I do like this because it's all about highlighting. They say so. Um, let me find it because like I filmed this video, you guys, and my camera my camera stopped like filming, and I do have like this, some swatches on my um, on my at the back of my head, and it's just so so annoying. <laughs> And excuse me if I, I really really um, feel congested right now but I wanted to do a video for you guys so okay. so it comes with the blush nudes palette I have heard like mixed reviews about this but I haven't tried this out and it comes with a sponge tip applicator and, and like a this pretty cheap brush which I'm not, never going to use okay. and then uh, it came with um, the Maybelline Last Sensational, as you can see. And uh, where is the strobing? Okay, and it came with a strobing um, stick and medium glow. As you can see, it's just like this golden color. And then, where is the other one? Okay, and it um, came with the Vivid Matte Liquid Stick. I actually expected it to be in a bigger tube, but whatever. Yeah, it's this color and it, um, the swatch is here. Uh, I got, I received two lipsticks from my aunt. Uh, she's from Canada. Uh, she sent me a Revlon uh, Super Lustrous Lipstick and it's um, in the color Black Cherry. I'm really excited to, um, to wear this you guys and this watch is this one it's not matte because it's in a cream form and then i got the covergirl katie perry katie katie matte katie kate matte and maroon meow focus focus okay yeah that's the color and then i got the essence matte 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 liquid lipstick Actually, it's a long-lasting lip gloss, but it's matte. It's a matte lip gloss, and it's what I have on my lips right now, and I'm really, really impressed with this. So I recommend getting these, you guys, and they're so, so cheap because Essence is one of like my favorite drugstore brand. Because yeah, but like most of their products are really, really good, but the other ones, of course, are are misses. So yeah, I love, I love these. Guys. And then I got this. Okay, get the, the products out of the way I got like almost all of the Essence uh, Matte 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 uh, collection I just don't have like their orangey red but um, yeah 
after this one you guys like if you want me to do a um, like a whole video on this you guys please just let me know or i will just uh, review this for you guys so stay tuned for that yeah but i did swatch like some of these colors which are in the middle so if you want to see if you want to have an idea how they look you guys so those are the uh, matte matte essence lipstick and then, and then I did get um, two uh, Maybelline uh, matte lipsticks in burgundy blush. I actually tried this out and it's really, really amazing. And then I have Midnight Merlot, which is this really pretty reddish burgundy color. Yeah, oh, actually it has like a little bit of purple in it. But yeah, they're both amazing. And then I got where's the other one? Like the essence velvet stick and they uh, the swatches are here. They are really really good to you guys. I really really recommend it. And I got um like four mascaras. I got uh the Rimmel London Lift Me Up, the Essence, the False Lashes, which is one of the new ones. My favorite mascara of all time, which is the Lash Princess, and I'm wearing it right now. And the Essence for Bitter Boy, which is one of their new mascaras too. So I'm really really excited to try these mascaras out. And then I got um three uh lip liners, two are from Essence and one is from Lancome. Uh this I think I'm wearing the Honeyberry one, which is uh, where will I swatch it? Like, really swatch it here. Yeah, this is the color. Yeah, okay, that was a shitty swatch, but yeah, that's the color there. And then uh, this one is called Soft Berry, which I'm going to swatch it too, which is kind of like a darker, like berry color. And then, um, this is from Lancome. This is the Lancome Counter Pro. This actually, um, my boyfriend gave this to me. And this is called Rose Bosse. And, where will I swatch it? Okay, let's watch it here. My palm, it's so, so creepy, you guys. I, I haven't tried this out, actually. And this, it, it comes with like, with, like, a lip brush, which I will never, never use. And then, I, I, oh, I also got... Um, this is a gift from the boy, the, the mom of my boyfriend, which is the uh, Mega Volume Manga, but it's the Punky Manga. I haven't seen this out yet, so really, really, really excited. And then I got a few brow products. I have the Turn It Up Brow Gel Filler, which I haven't tried out yet. The Essence Make Me Brow, which I've heard good reviews about this. And the Essence Eyebrow Gel again. This is my second one. And then I did get um, a bunch of like uh, lipsticks from Turn It Up. Is that it? Yeah, because I'm actually filming on my bed right now. It's like what I told you guys. So I had I have everything on my bed, but I did get like um, two colors twice. So yeah, as you can see. And the other one is not really something I like because it's kind of streaky, which is the purple one. So yeah, that's that. I'm not really sure what I'm going to do with it, but um, these are the colors. I'm not going to swatch everything, you guys, because it's just so much things to um, to show. So I'm just showing you the colors. I recommend trying it up uh, lipsticks because they're one of the best formulas. But trying it up is like a it's not something you can get like everywhere because they, I think they are exclusively sold in DM which is a German drugstore so if ever you go to Germany you guys please check out DM and get these lipsticks because they are amazing really really amazing and I did get a bunch of eyeshadow brushes I got this from Amazon, you guys. You know, they're like pretty cheap, and I haven't you tried them out yet because I wanted to show them guys. To, I wanted to show these things to you guys first. So, yeah. There, this one. 
And then I did get uh, like th three um, brushes from DM2, which is from the brand, M brand Ambeline. But um, the other one is on my vanity. I don't want to go set up to get it, but it's just like a, a typical blending brush. And this brush is called All Over Brush. It's kind of like a big like brush and I wanted to use this for my highlighter but the bristles are kind of like hard and I'm not really sure if I like it but yeah you can use it like of course in everything because it's called all-in-one brush and I got a powder brush which I've been wanting for so long because it's just so so soft you guys I just love the feeling of this brush it's really inexpensive and it's really really good quality and then I did get um, two, I mean three P2 lipsticks. They are called uh, Full Color. They are not matte, so uh, yeah, they're kind of like the moisturizing formula. So yeah, like a purple one. A, I don't know what's this, but like kind of like a burgundy color, reddish, pinkish, or something like that. I, I really suck at, you know, describing colors. And this is called Suggest Honesty. So, yeah, and the swatch is this, you guys. Like, yeah. And then I got uh, the P2 Perfect Kajal eyeliner in brown because it's the only uh, color I'm wearing right now, but brown eyeliners. So, I'm really excited to try this out too. And then this actually, I've um, tried out already, this is the Keep It Perfect Makeup Fixing Spray from Essence. This is actually the first ever fixing spray. And um, I don't know how I feel about it. I just don't think that it makes like th any difference on my makeup or something. I don't know, but as you can see, I have tried it out. And then, and then, and then, oh, I got the Essence Light It Up your face luminizer palette and it's so amazing you guys I have nothing bad to say about this it's actually the highlighter I'm wearing right now as you can see it's just like glowing so much and it's cheap you guys really really worth it and then I got other two Maybelline um, eyeshadow palettes this is the Rock Nudes I've heard like mixed reviews about this too, so I can't wait to try this. If you want to, um, if you want me to do like any tutorials with these products or reviews, just please, please let me know, and I will definitely do it for you guys. And the newest Maybelline 24 Karat Nude, I tried this out, you guys, and it's amazing. I love it so much. Yeah, it has like such like a beautiful color range, and you have everything in here. The only downside apart. Uh, um, about this palette is like it doesn't have a transition color like the only mark is this and uh, this and this color so I al always have to reach for another palette or another like single eyeshadow to um, to get a transition color but other than that this is a good good palette and then I have the L'Oreal La Palette Gold because it's also a um, gift from the mom of my boyfriend they are all shimmery colors and um yeah i have swatched this two one two colors in here and they are really really good the pigmentation is so good you guys and i can't wait to play with this bad boy and then last but not the least okay these are a lot you guys i got a lot of w7 eyeshadow palette I, I, like I got almost all of them but like in the tin in the tin um, uh, tin pan um, packaging and um, yeah if you want me to do a review about this you guys please just let me know because I don't know if I'm going to review all of them in one video or review um, like each palette but I'm just going to give you a quick overview I have a smoking palette The In The Night palette. I didn't like this palette. I just, um, it was not intentionally, but because uh, I don't understand the color, but I'm just going to play with it and let's see if I'm going to like it. I have the Color Me Buff. 
which I'm not really a big fan of because I've tried this out and uh, yeah but uh, the shimmery colors are great the mattes are like eh, you know but the shimmery colors are great they are so noisy guys and they have the beaded palette it has like the new peachy colors haven't tried this out yet I believe but I'm really excited and I love the color of the packaging I have lightly toasted which is supposed to, um, they're supposed to be like well some of them are supposed to be like the dupe for the naked palettes but I don't own any naked palettes so I can't say but like I don't know let's see if I just like them and it looks like this and by the way um, the colors are like indicated at the back of the palette so it's going to be easier for you to know what color you're using and then last but not least I have the color be buff eyeshadow palette is supposed to be the dupe for um, the naked too I guess and there they are it's just so so pretty and then I have a few few products left you guys I promise um, I have the try it up eyebrow powder and it says waterproof I mean it comes with this like big pan but not even half of the pan is filled with the products and because it came out with like a cheap angle brush that I threw away I got the Trend It Up blush which I'm not sure if I like oh my god you guys I am making a big mess up because of the lipsticks but yeah it's just like a peachy color and I have an Essence Satin Blush in Satin Love, which I love, you guys. I absolutely love this. I really have a husky voice. So, it's so weird. And it looks like this. It's really, really, really pretty. I love this color, guys. And I finally got my hands on the um, Maybelline like, color tattoos. I have the Creamy Beige, which is a matte color. And I got the permanent taupe, which is a matte color too, because I actually thought that they were going, this is going to be shimmery, but it's not. So this is the taupe, and this is the the creamy beige. It's right here. And I got like two primers. I have the Trend It Up Expert, no, this is not, this is really old. No, this is, this is an old one. This is the Expert Makeup. Perfection base because I also have the illuminating one, but um, I got this like a long time ago But yeah, this is really really nice. I really really like it and I really really recommend it and the um, W7 Prime Magic I got this from Amazon and I haven't used this yet, but I do like the texture of it because it's really um, silicone -y. And then um, the last part I'm going to show to you guys is um, a translucent powder from Essence. It's an Essence Stay All Day Translucent Fixing Powder. And uh, I actually like this more than the Trend It Up. Because the Trend It Up kind of like leaves like a white cast on my um, face, like on the, my under eye area if, when I bake. But this one is really, really natural. And I really, really love this. So you guys, that's it for the video. I hope you enjoyed this. I'm sorry if it was a really, really long video. I have like 17 minutes of like footage. And um, if you want me to show like, um, if you want me to um, use these products in a tutorial or like if you have any ideas of what videos you want me to do in the future, please, please just let me know. And I'm going to see you on my next video, you guys. Bye.